I'm more of a country mouse than a city mouse, and Nanaimo, the city, it has enough of what I need, but just the, just the natural beauty of it. I can feel it in the pores of my skin, I can feel it in my lungs when I breathe the air. It's just something, when I get out here and I just see trees and blue sky, it's, it makes me happy. Yeah, my big thing every year is, is uh, to go down to Nanaimo River and jump in because it the river feels like it's a healer. Um, that beautiful fresh water and the trees around it just it cures whatever ails you and uh, there's nothing like it to me in the world. I've really been encouraged, especially in the last 10 years or so, that Nanaimo is recognizing the art scene a lot more and celebrating that and there's some fantastic festivals that happen every year and I've been lucky to be involved in a lot of those because I do live here. Some of my passions are getting out to nature, so going for hikes to places like Ammonite Falls or Neck Point. We have one of the first wineries on Vancouver Island. We have uh, one of the oldest brew pubs. Uh, we have a bunch of craft distilleries. I like to use Nanaimo as a base for my expeditions because it has a little something for everyone. If people want to stay in a hostel, they can. If they want to stay in a nice uh, four-star hotel, they can. And uh, most people love the different variety of accommodations we have. What surprises visitors in Nanaimo is the abundance of wildlife and the immense natural beauty. I like to go explore all the different islands because they have trails and glorious forests to see, but they all have these little bays and secret little gems. And so if you're into exploring, you get a lot out of it. My absolute favorite place in Nanaimo is Newcastle Island, or as the Nanaimo First Nations call it, Seisuchin. Nature is a big part of it because when you're going to carve something for the longhouse, which is in our traditional dances and things, my dad will bring me up the mountain, talk to the trees, talk to the water, thank them, and just stay up there. Sometimes it's four days you stay there and bath, cleanse yourself, get your mind straight so there's no doubt or meanness in your mind. So just pure things go into the thing that you're carving for the longhouse.